Good morning and welcome to our theme park rangers vlog. We are here, uh, what time is it? It's 25 past 6. 6.25. 6.25? 5.25. 5.25, I was going to say, I've just lost an hour of my life. 5.25 in the morning and we're at Premier in Folkestone. Premier in Folkestone, Eurotunnel. Premier in Folkestone, Eurotunnel. Um, this is our room. There's Jamie, just getting his stuff. Yeah, nice little room. There's Matt. Morning. We are just heading out. Come on, girls. It's quite early, so trying to be as quiet as we can. This hotel, it's a very noisy hotel. Every door bangs and slams. Cheers, Matt. Um, so yeah, we're just heading out now to the car because in a minute we're going to get Le Shuttle over to France. Yeah, so we drove down last night, which is a Friday. It's now Saturday morning. Uh, we stayed here last night, ready for our train at 6.20. But this is literally five minutes away from, from the port, so we'll uh, get the car packed. I say packed, put the suitcases back in the car and then we'll head over to get our train over to France. Flat white for me. We have a latte for Jamie. Thank you. A tea for Rob. Yeah, because he doesn't do coffee. Well, I do, but I'm very picky about when I do my coffee. You are fussy about it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So we can. We've just been called for boarding. We are T5. Uh, so the groups. There's three groups normally per train. Um, we're T5, so it says please proceed. So we're going to head over there now. So we've been through. British passport control, been through our security check, and now we're in the queue to go through French passport control. Correct. Nice quick security check though. Yeah, it is good. As like an airport security check. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I was trying to refer to. <laughs> yeah, no, compared to airport security checks, it's so much easier. Last year I thought about how things can
So at the moment, we're about half an hour away from the hotel. Um, we've just come off to head towards Paris, I believe. Yeah, so we, I think we've hit Paris. Um, I think we've actually hit Paris and we are now just work, working our way around the edge to the east, east where Disneyland Paris is. I think it's east. Um, but yeah, overall, for the first time that we've done it, it's been a really easy drive. Um, yeah, it's pretty much one straight road. There is a toll. Uh, there is a way you can go without the toll, but it takes about almost two hours longer. Um, so we decided just to pay the toll, didn't just we? Just pay the toll and get there a bit quicker, yeah. For the sake of 20, I think it was 23 euros and 80. Um, Which to me, I'd rather get more time there. Yeah. And sacrifice my 23 euros 80 yeah. than um, definitely yeah, than, than try and save that 23 euros so. but considering that it's the first time that we've done it and we're just under half an hour away now compare how we found the process um, a lot easier than flying yeah and a lot less faff than flying you just rock up go through your security check and your passport check and then you're on the train then you're off the train and then you're straight down this road so if you don't mind being in a car for that amount of hours then I think it's a lot easier than flying and having to pay for your car to be in the airport car park having to be there hours before yeah. going through all your passport checks with your suitcase and everything security yeah all your security stuff yeah, um, yeah if, you, if you don't mind being in the car this long then to me I think it's probably the better way to go from the UK to Disneyland Paris to be honest yeah I think I agree I like the fact that especially with it being a winter trip we've been able to bring like as many coats as we wanted to yeah. we're not limited on to like one cabin bag or anything like that so I think so far it's been quite a pleasurable experience how do you find it Jay? I think the process of getting here was a lot easier than flying like getting to France itself was easier than flying um, I think it, it does feel like a, it's felt like a very long drive see for me it hasn't felt that long at all I don't think it's felt that long at all yeah. And we're here. It is so cold. I am absolutely freezing. So, so cold. But we've just got off the bus and headed through security. And here we are now in Disney Village with Walt Disney Studios right behind us. So yeah, um, so happy to be back here. Um, really, really, really glad. It's yeah. Really nice. This is uh, like we said. This is Disney to us. Freezing cold, scarves on. Um, I much prefer being in a park when it's warm. But it's Disney is really really nice in the winter, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So really really happy to be here again, and it looks just as good as it always looks. 
yeah, really excited to be back. Um, really excited to go in. I think we're going to go and get some lunch now. Uh, we mentioned Earl of Sandwich, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, Earl of Sandwich. I haven't been there for absolutely ages, so I think we're going to head to Earl of Sandwich and um, dip in there for something. Yeah. You've never been there I've before. Been. Jamie's never been there before either. So yeah, I think we'll head to Earl of Sandwich and get something to eat there. So I think, um, go sorry, on. go on. Uh, so I think the plan is Earl of Sandwich for lunch, and then we need to come back here to the studios, actually, to pick up our uh, annual passes. So we've got annual passes, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're at annual pass holders now. So we'll come back, we'll collect our annual passes after lunch, and then we're going to head into the park. the sandwiches. I went for the ham and Swiss. Rob got the tuna melt. Tuna melt. A little bit boring. But I just fancy tuna. And on the like the menu that they do, which is like a meal, I guess if you we would call it in the UK. Um, you can either get a brownie, which is what we opted for, or you can get crisps. Um, but the brownies actually have Ghirardelli chocolate in them. So that's the little chocolate squares that we got when we were in Florida. So, we've never eaten here, have we? I you have, a long time. I haven't. We've never eaten here together. No. This looks pretty good, though. So we've got ham, cheese, and honey mustard in this one. What of yours? Tuna melt. Nice and soft. Nice and soft bread, though. Mm. Jay, what did you go for? Um, I went for the Chipotle chicken avocado. Um, I'm not going to reel off everything that's in it because there's quite a lot of stuff, but it's like, it's quite good. So, I shall let you know how it is. Mm. That's really good. I can see why people rave about this place so much. How's yours? With the best tuna melt I've ever had in my life. Really? Yeah. That good? Yeah, amazing. I think this is the best ham and cheese toasty I've ever had in my life. Like the, the tuna melt, such a basic, you think, yeah. oh, everywhere does that. We have them all the time, don't we? Yeah, but because we're coming here, I thought I'd try that because it's just, it's like so, so much flavour and stuff in there. It's probably the best. That is the best tuna melt I've ever had in my life. Yeah. That's amazing. That's good. Do you want to swap them? Yeah. Let's taste them. See, this looks like it's got loads of mustard in it, which worries But me. it's honey mustard. You like honey mustard. Mm. Mm. I'm with him. That is, I think, the best tuna melt I've ever had. Yeah. Very nice though, that ham. And it's, it's nice, really it? tastes the ham, yeah. And the honey mustard with it really complements it. Mm -hmm. So currently we're heading to the Walt Disney Studios Park. The reason that we're heading there first, it's totally out of character for us, is that we have to go and collect our brand new annual passes that all three of us have purchased. Excited to pick up your annual pass? Very. Jay? Yeah, I can't wait. So, this was an ordeal. How long did I spend? How long did I spend trying to get my hands on these pu passes? Ages. I thought I'd lost you to your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, trying to buy an annual pass from D for Disneyland Paris is its own beast. So, if anybody has tried or is interested and wants to know how I did it, drop a comment below, and I'll potentially put a video together explaining how I did it. But for now, I need to get the tickets out of my bag, and we need to get through these turnstiles. So, bear with us. So for the first time in a long time, we're actually walking underneath the 
Disneyland Hotel because the turnstiles down here have reopened, which is really, really nice to see. It feels so special to walk under here again. And through we go. So we made it into the park, as you can see. Um, when we came through the gates, uh, Dream and Shine, I think it's just called Shine Brighter now, actually, which is the little cavalcade uh, based off Dream and Shine Brighter, how it was just finishing, wasn't it? Yeah. So hopefully we'll get to see that again. Jay, what do you think to it at Christmas time? Yeah, it's really cute. Really cute? Yeah, like, obviously I need to, I need to investigate a little bit more. See everything so far, really cute. I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's dark and yeah. everything's lit up properly. So I'm sure we'll discuss it again. We definitely will. Rob, yeah. happy to be back at Christmas time? Yeah, yeah. Looks we're good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good. Looks absolutely incredible. So we've currently got a uh, dining reservation at Captain Jack's, which was on Rob's list actually. And we managed to get a last minute dining reservation um, so we're gonna head around there now people are literally lining up for the parade so they're just trying to clear the street so we're gonna try and weave our way straight down Main Street get over to Adventureland and into Captain Jack's for a reservation as you can see it is literally rammed side to side with people waiting for the Christmas parade So we're just going to weave our way around. So far I've not even seen a single gap. I think we're going to have to use this one where people have just come out. So we'll weave our way around now to Adventureland. For some food. So Captain Jacks has been on our list for a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, ages. Every, long time. every time we come to the park, we're always like, oh, shall we give it a go? Is it, is, is it going to be worth it? So this time, actually, um, I managed to get a last minute book in and I just booked it because I know that Rob's wanted to come here for a long time. Um, it's the one where Pirates of the Caribbean actually goes past as it goes round. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to getting in here. It's got quite an interesting menu. It's quite like tropical and stuff. So we'll give it a go and we'll let you know what we think. But let's get inside. So we've just been seated in Captain Jack's. Um, it's very, very dark in here, so I don't know how much we'll be able to show and how much we'll be able to see. Um, but we're seated um, in the main restaurant, which is like a Caribbean, like a, I don't know what you call it, like a Caribbean beach. Yeah, I'd say it looks like a bit, bit, bit like a beach from Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kind Caribbean. of feels like a beach bar kind of vibe, maybe. Yeah, and then right behind us is Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride itself actually going past. I don't know whether the camera will be able to cope. Um, it might, because of the low light, it might, we might go out of focus and stuff like that, so if it does, it does. But yeah, it is very, very dark in here. It's, I'm actually struggling to read the menu that it's so dark, but it, it, it is really nice. It's cool. And I've been trying to get in here for ages because, I don't know, I'm not even really into fish, but I just love this, I just love all the theming of this restaurant. It's just awesome. It's so cool. But yeah, I'm going to give the menu to Matt and Matt can read the menu. So we came in and because as you can see it's very dark, Rob, there's like a candle on the table and Rob was literally like this, trying to read it. I felt like a pirate trying to read the menu. So, um, they do have kind of a la carte, but you can also, they do a set menu. Thank you very much. Merci. Yeah, so they do do a la carte, however, a la carte is very expensive. So they also do a, a set menu for 42 euros. So the set menu is 42 euros for three courses. One main course is 38 euros, so it'd be kind of silly not to go for the set menu in here, wouldn't you? Mm. So we went for, for starters, they've literally just arrived. We went for fish soup, Rob and I did. Uh, Jamie, what did you go for? Um, well, it turns out it's a chicken salad. But I didn't know it was a salad because I didn't read the menu properly. But it looks really good, and smells amazing, so let's find out. Yeah, there's, there's I think it's a like a cashew dressing on it. 
So this fish food soup smells really good. We've got some um, bread to go with it as well. Cheers. Cheers. Food's just arrived then, so we've all got the same. So this is Caribbean chicken with prawns. And then it also comes with captain's rice, which looks like rice and beans. So we're gonna tuck in and we will let you know what we think so far. It smells really good. I'm hoping it tastes as good as it smells. So dessert's just arrived as well. So Rob and I both have rice pudding with mango puree. I've got captain's shortcake with, um, is it bourbon rum whipped cream or something? Uh, so it looks really good, can't wait. And roasted pineapple as well. Right. There you go. Yeah, they both they all look really good, so we'll talk in. Uh, don't worry, as long as I can see you guys, because I don't want to lose anyone. So we just come out of Captain Jack's restaurant. Um, how was it for you? Really good. Uh, actually beat my expectations. Yeah, me too. So um, I was a little bit worried about the menu and a bit worried about the food. And when we got in there and the food actually came out, it was actually really, really nice, wasn't it? Um, I've heard a few things about the food not being great in there or maybe the menu not being so good because it is all fish based, isn't it? Which being about pirates, sea, ships and all that, I suppose, makes total sense. So I was a little bit worried about it. But it was actually really, really good. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I really it. enjoyed it. Yeah, like I basically wanted to go in there just for the pure atmosphere and the theming of the restaurant. Yeah. And actually, the food has actually shocked me. Yeah. I'm actually quite surprised. It was really, really nice. It was really good. Yeah. Um, the soup a lot, lot better than I was expecting. Yeah. Um, I and was then, really nervous ordering fish soup. Yeah, I was. Yeah, and then the main that was really good as well, wasn't it? Yeah, the it was main like, was really nice. It was like a like a curry, like a Caribbean curry. Yeah, like a Caribbean curry. Yeah, with rice and stuff. So that that was lovely. Um, Jane, what do you think of the, the food? I I really enjoyed it. Um, a little bit like you, wasn't quite sure what to expect, but it was really nice. Um, starter and main was really good. Um, I had a different starter to you guys, didn't I? I had the I think it was a, like a chicken um, with like pickled vegetables. That was really good. Um, I just can't, still can't get my head around cold rice pudding. That's going to bother me for a while. It was really nice, though, weren't it? I really enjoyed the rice. pudding. I've had cold rice pudding before. Yeah, I think it's quite a Euro. It's a, it's a very European thing. In the UK, yeah. we tend to heat it up. Yeah, I, Europe, I have so it. Cold. I have it warm, yeah. and I like it warm. But in all fairness, that was really that nice. Was very nice. It? Yeah, it was nice as it was. Yeah, it was really good. Definitely a recommendation. I really, really liked it in there. Definitely will go back there again at some point. Out of five? Uh, four and a half. I'd give it a four and a half as well. Four and a half out of five, yeah, it was good. Out of five? Yeah, four and a half. Yeah, yeah, it was good in there. Staff were really good in there as well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah very polite, were, yeah, very, very polite, yeah. Very attentive. Had a bit of a laugh with me because I pronounced the uh, name of the wine wrong. Well, I did, I did, because she couldn't understand it because I had one English accent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, had a bit of a laugh with me. It was very, yeah, there was a lot of like personality, which was nice. Yeah, it was really, yeah, really nice. We came out of there and went straight on Pirates just because we'd sat there watching the ride go around. So we decided to get on the ride ourselves. 25 minute posted wait time. I don't think we waited I think 25 we waited minutes. 15. Probably 15, it's a fast mover, so yeah, yeah, about 15 minutes. We haven't really got any plans for this evening, to be quite honest. Not really. um, we're not looking to stay out all night tonight because we've had quite a long day, early start this morning. So I think we're going to shoot back to the hotel soon. Um, in the next hour or, or so um, and just kind of chill out in the hotel room tonight and then have a fresh start tomorrow morning yeah. so as not to drain ourselves and get ourselves too tired for more night rides but maybe yeah i think we're going to aim for a couple more night rides a lot of the stuff here at disneyland paris is in the in the inside anyway yeah. so we'll probably go for the rides that are outside yeah just have a good walk around because when we were here in the summer it was light most of the night, wasn't it? So yeah. we didn't really get to appreciate the park in the dark. And um, See what uh, Big Thunder and Phantom Manor are on? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right with that? Let's go! This park at night is absolutely stunning. It's a Big Thunder Mountain going past there. We're going to go Phantom Manor because it's a five minute queue. Phantom Manor. Looking forward to it? It's definitely one of our favourites, Phantom Manor. So we're going to head down there now because that's, as Rob just said, that's on a five minute queue. 
think the fact that the Christmas parade is currently on is doing us some favours, so... Welcome, foolish mortals. Welcome. Welcome. Then I'm very impressed by my welcome, foolish mortals. <laughs> This is not very five minutes. This is not five minutes. I'd say so. I'd say it's five minutes. Are we saying it's five minutes? I reckon so. Still so don't think it's five minutes? No, it probably is five minutes. Question for you. Phantom Manor or Haunted Mansion? Phantom Manor. Why? It's better. <laughs> Darker? Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. I think on Phantom Manor as well. I love Haunted Mansion, but I think Phantom Manor just beats it slightly. The story, I think. Just had an awesome ride on Phantom Manor. Literally waited five minutes for it and we were straight on. Um, love Phantom Manor. It's my fave. Uh, out of Haunted Mansion and Phantom Manor, I do like Phantom Manor. Love it. Could do it over and over again and never get bored. That's good. We will be. <laughs> yeah, loved it. As good as ever. Um, and then we went straight over to Big Thunder Mountain and got a night ride on Big Thunder Mountain. 35 minute queue. Don't think we waited 35 minutes though. No, I, I think, think it was it maybe was 15 again. 15, yeah. 20, wasn't it? Continuous yeah. movement, yeah. wasn't it? Like, there wasn't a point where we was at a standstill at all, which is really good. Yeah, that's one good thing about about here, about that here, is it just the queue just keeps on shuffling forward. It doesn't seem to stop, especially if they're having a good operating day. It doesn't seem to stop at all. So we're just heading through back to Main Street now, actually. It's looking very blue and purple, isn't it? Yeah. Castle looks pretty though. It does, doesn't it? So it's about 25 to 9 and we've decided that we are going to call it a night and leave the park for tonight just because we don't want to go too late. We were up at half four this morning, yeah. so it has been quite a long day for us. So we're going to head back through Disney Village now and jump on the bus um, and head back to the, the hotels. We've not even gone into our room yet. We've not even got our room, got our keys or anything and we haven't got all our cases out of the car or anything so we're gonna go and do that now and then just have a bit of a an easy night we've got a grab the hot chocolate uh, which i can't drink right now so i've got my aligners in so i need to get the aligners out before i can drink it uh, what have you got a hot chocolate oh hot chocolate as well yeah. what did jay have 
Jack coffee. Oh, okay. Awesome. So yeah, so uh, we used our new annual passes to grab these, and uh, like I said, we're just going to head out now and uh, head back to the hotel. So just head into our room. We are in 269. So far, the hotel looks really nice, really clean, really tidy. Um, it's a little bit of a funny smell in here. Not too sure if it's the carpet or what it is, but it does smell a, smell a little bit weird in the corridors when you first come in. But um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go and uh, have a look at the room now. Hello. So obviously we have Jamie staying with us in the room. Um, so it is a room that sleeps, I think this is supposed to sleep up to four. Um, so we have, as you can see over here, unfortunately it is a bunk bed. Uh, so there's a bunk bed and a double. So if there is four of you, you can fit four people in here. Um, it has pretty much everything that you need. So there's plug sockets by the bed. Bed's not like built in. There's a phone there should you need to use it. Um, there are plug sockets on both sides of the beds, which is great. There isn't much storage for like clothes and stuff. Like, there's a tiny little wardrobe that doesn't open or close very well. Um, but again, there's loads of power, so. There's another wardrobe that side. There is another wardrobe this side, I don't know, but it's exactly the same. Oh, there's a safe in that one as well. So that's good use of that um, yeah not massive amounts of storage two bedside tables though uh, some nice lamps three sockets there TV on the wall TVs fairly modern um, yeah it's not the right size for the price of the room beds nice and comfy full length mirror here for getting ready and everything. Um, as you can see, when there's three of you in here, it is quite a tight room. There isn't massive amounts of room to move around, but you don't spend that much time in here, do you, at the end of the day? And then the bathroom. So you've got, it's actually, for the most part, feels quite modern in here. Um, nice big sink, huge mirror, toilet. There is a hairdryer on the wall, but it is one of these ones. Oh, I feel all windswept. Do you? Oh, yes. Does it give you a bit of a Beyonce blow? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got no idea how. that actually, For one of those, it actually felt quite powerful, so it might be all right. Um, and then it is a shower over the bath type situation, situation. Uh, which Rob will show you in a second. Towels aren't great, but. How much was this room? Uh, so for th three of us, it's cost us £60 per night, which is cheap. So for, for where we are as well. For where we are, yeah. So it's a, it's actually a bit of a bargain. It's just not the biggest room, but for, like, like we said, for the amount of time that you actually spend in the room, there's not much point paying much more considering that it's clean, dry, comfortable. We've said here before, we get breakfast included. But yeah, overall, for the price, I don't think it's bad at all. Thoughts on the room? Yeah, it's all right. For the money, you can't, I don't think you can moan. No, I it's don't think clean. you can either. It's, it's cleaner than some rooms that we've stayed in and paid more money for. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think it's all right for the money. I just wish there would have been an option on the bunk beds. Mm. I do too. I wish that had been mentioned at the desk and that had been an option. Yeah. So when you book, it literally says either two doubles or because as a double and two singles, but they don't tell you that it's two bunk beds. Because as adults, yeah, I would. I mean, I think it's a full size, like a full size single bed on it. Yeah. So it's not like it's a kids bed or anything, but it's no. just a bit. It is a full size single, but it's mm. just a bit weird being an adult sleeping in a bunk bed. Yeah. So I would, that should have been an option, really. I don't really. It should really. I don't really like that. But at the moment, that's the only complaint that I've, I've got, I think, so far. Yeah, other than that. So I think we're going to get unpacked. So I've got a couple of bits to go and get from the car, so I'm going to pop out and grab them. So I've just settled down in the room. It's been quite a long day today. Been up for, I don't know, a lot of hours. 18-odd uh, hours. 18-odd hours, so yeah. So we got up at half four this morning, 
and um, yeah, it's just been like one big long traveling day, um, and then a park day as well. Um, hasn't today hasn't gone completely as we thought it would. Um, yeah, with the queue in to get our annual pass and stuff like that, the queue for that was absolutely ridiculous. Nearly two and a half hours yeah. we had to wait to get our annual pass, so that wasn't good. Yeah. Um, and that took a lot of our day out. Um, also made us quite tired as well, just because you're standing around in the cold and stuff without moving much for two and a half hours. So, yeah, that took a lot out. Um, and then once we did get our annual passes, we went in, went straight for straight for our dinner and stuff, and then had a couple of rides and we've come back and after doing those few things it's now 10 o'clock at night so yeah um yeah it's been a very very different day to what we planned and what we expected so um yeah the annual pass thing wasn't wasn't particularly good so that's a bit of a shame but um yeah we've got a full part day tomorrow and the reason we didn't stay out too late tonight is because we didn't want to be too tired for tomorrow so yeah uh, we'll probably go quite early tomorrow and go down uh, so we can get a few photos and stuff before we actually go into the park and that and then we'll probably do a full day I think tomorrow um, road drop to fireworks yeah so from open all the way through till close I think we'll do tomorrow um, I don't really know what the plan is I think it's just Disneyland Park tomorrow I think is the plan mm-hmm. um, and we'll just take the days it comes we don't really have anything major we don't have anything booked in or anything major planned. We're just going to take it as it comes, I think. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, what was your highlight of today? Uh, Captain Jack's, I think. Yeah, Captain Jack's for me as well, I think. Yeah, yeah it was a night. Nice, that was something new, wasn't it? Yeah. Something we've not done before, and that was a, um, yeah, a really good experience. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, so I think, um, as we said, it's like 10 o'clock now, and we've been up for quite a long time, and we want to get up early tomorrow. So, I think we're going to leave it here. Mm. So, if you enjoyed today's uh, content, please like the video and subscribe for more. Yeah. And uh, we will see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. Last year, I thought of Every time the